Welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program, folks. I have been doing a bit of work in between episodes, so we have some extra uh, particle photon combiners. Uh, we are now producing, well, 90 here plus the 30 we have over in the other spot, so that's 120 photon combiners a second. Very good. Uh, I have also uh, prepared here because we're going to need more uh, titanium alloy so these two towers are for more titanium alloy uh, additionally I have set up here uh, to make some circuit boards this is 180 circuit boards a second that we'll be making so let's fire this up and we just need to say local demand, local demand, remote storage, remote storage. And we have um, I have ordered some uh, copper ingots up here so that we have those as well. So I have two towers for copper ingots and they each have 8,000 inbound. And we already have the iron, it's there as well. I ordered uh, iron ingots up there as well because we're not producing enough uh, iron ingots uh, here. I will set up more uh, iron ingot production on this planet because we have a lot of iron here. We have 32 million iron here. I also set up a few mining operations over here and a couple of other places. Let's see, are we getting copper? We are getting copper now. So there we go. Springing to life. Bringing to life. Beautiful. And basically, if we take a look here, these produce two every one second. So I'm actually. I actually need to double the output, I think. Huh. How am I going to do that? I can't do that. Two every one second. Okay. So actually, 15 machines would have been enough, because we are full all the way already here. But it's still 180 a second. I thought I thought it was two every two seconds. That's my bad. So I could have half the length of this. So two, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. It could have been just this long. And that would have been enough. But okay. I can double the output on the two outer lines. It's just the inner lines. Four lanes that I can't really double the output for. So I can just stick a line on the outside here and, and on the outside here and that'll be fine. But I might just uh, shorten it and move this. We already have 10,000 in there. So yeah, uh, pretty, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, so what's next? Well, uh, and we of course need the processors or the circuit boards for these, for the photon combiners, by the way, uh, because they take a circuit board. So these 180 circuit boards is enough to feed all our photon combiners plus a bit. So that's pretty good. Uh, then we have over here somewhere. Somewhere. Not here. Here. 
I have prepared for these guys, the Dyson Sphere components. And the Dyson Sphere components, this, all of this, will produce 30 Dyson Sphere components a second. Look at how many machines there is. All of this will produce 30 Dyson Sphere components a second. Because Dyson Sphere components are expensive, so it's three um, frame materials, three solar sails, three processors every eight seconds to produce one. So yeah. And actually, I think it's only 20. I think it's only 20 a second that we're producing here. Uh, yeah, I think it's 20. Uh, because what we want, ultimately, is 10 a second of these. So yeah, and that's what we're going to set up today. But let's first start this up. So what we need to do is up at our thing here. We need to say processors, remote demand, and do we have any of the others with only three in them? Yeah. Uh, processors, remote demand. So they're not coming in there, but there are 10,000 on the way there. And now they're coming in here as well. Because we are producing quite a few processors. But probably not enough. I think I need to set up some processor production here as well. That's okay. So let's just wait for the processors to arrive here. And then we'll fire this up so that we can see it all spring into action. So, I'll just be right back when the processors arrive. And here come the processors. They are on their way. Half of them have arrived. There's another one. It does look cool when they arrive. Thing. Processors received. And everyone is happy. So I already have 6,000 on the way here as well, so that's very nice. And while I was waiting, I decided to just check if we can research anything, and we can. So I have started uh, ray transmission efficiency, because we're going to start our, um, our uh, Dyson Sphere soon. And we can even do another one, so let's do that. Uh, and then the logistics carrier capacity 8 we can do as well. So that's an extra 20 and an extra 200, which is nice. And then we can also do... Um, where is it? There. Uh, the Dyson Sphere stress system. And I think this is the last one. So let's just start this researching. Autosave. And let's start bringing the stuff in for this. So it'll be local demand, local demand, local demand. And, oh. And you. Local supply and remote supply. So in come all the things. We have, what is that? Processors, I think. Yeah, processors. We have solar sails. And we have uh, frame material. So they are starting to fire up. And our first ones have just arrived. We have six of these Dyson Sphere components. So this is awesome. This brings us a big step closer 
to actually starting up building our Dyson Sphere. Why are the processors not coming in faster? Or the um, frame material? Did I not put... Uh, where's the frame material coming from? I think it's here. Yes, it is. I didn't put any drones in here, that's why. That'll help. Ray transmission efficiency is up. So that'll help. That'll bring in some more frame material. Very, very nice. So the next thing that we want to make is the small carrier rocket. And for that we need deuterium uh, fuel rods and we need uh, quantum chips which take processors. So we are going to... let's see, do we have any space here? We do. So this will be quantum chips, uh, remote demand, and this will be quantum chips, remote demand. Do we have any space left? Uh, we do! Uh, deuterium fuel rod. Remote demand. And do we have more space left? Yes we do. Uh, deuterium fuel rod. Remote demand. Okay. And I think that's all filled up now. So if we want something else to come in, we are going to have to expand on our resource uh, hub up here. Okay, so these take six seconds to build. So if we build six machines, we can do one a second. We want to do 10 a second, so we need 60 machines. That's pretty simple, and we can do... Uh, so, we need... Basically, we need one of each every three seconds. So that means that we can really either make it very long or very short and spread it out. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but I think we'll do two lines of 30. Two lines of 30. Seems reasonable to me. Whoops. Where are we going to build this? I do like the look of the planet that it's got this whole belt of production going. I think that looks nice. Uh, so where can we fit 30 machines? Here maybe? Yeah. Let's head over there. Yeah, we can fit 30 here, no problem. Alright, cool. Uh, I need some... Of this stuff. Okay. Because we are gonna be flattening a bit of terrain. It's a nice big mountain giving us a lot of soil power. Uh, more than 8 million soil, pl soil pile, pile now. That's pretty sweet. Right, so let's copy you. And we'll stick you in. Here, seems like a good spot. And let's start by setting this up. 
filling you up with some ships. And there we go. And giving you some power. Whoops. Now we might have to set up some fractionators here to produce more deuterium. That's okay. We do produce quite a bit of uh, hydrogen here, so spending some of it wouldn't be bad. Alright, so we want uh, these guys. We want uh, deuterium fuel rods. We want uh, quantum chips. And then we'll stick these in here as well. Okay. And we just need one return line. Or finished product line. There. And then we need some of these. And I don't have enough of them. So let's just quickly grab some more of these guys. Let's grab something like that. That'll be enough. Okay. Logistics carrier capacity level 8. Wonderful. Okay. So you want to make uh, small carrier rockets. Ooh, and power is looking bad. Power is looking very bad. 50%. Ouch. Um. Hmm. I suppose. Uh, I think I do have some of these. Yeah, I have 53 of them. So, logistics. There. Copy. No, we will not. Logistics. And then we'll copy. We've got some of these going. actually hooked up to the power grid. I don't think they are. Yeah, they are. They are. Let's just... Okay. Let's just stick one of these in here just to be on the safe side. Okay. Uh, that should have helped a bit. 900 and something consumption demand. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll build more of these. I was not planning to spend my time on this today. I guess we don't really have a choice. Could also extend this out. Uh, do I have any on me? I do. One, two, three, four, five. But we don't have any uh, batteries at the moment or accumulators, which is kind of bad. 
That's also one of the reasons that we're having problems, I guess. But they'll come eventually. please. There we go. We have any on the way? No? Okay. Well, there should be charging up back home. Alright, well, this should have helped our power situation some. We're, it's still not good. It's still not good. Amazing how much power we need to make our giant Dyson Sphere to provide power. Okay. Hopefully this is enough. a lot of uh, a lot of things mini fusion power reactors things okay uh, let's get back to building here what we actually wanted to spend our day on so we will get you out you out and we will get you out and we'll do the same on the other side you first then you and then you okay let's Send this down this way. Yeah. Okay. And there. And there. are researching. I think this is the last uh, of the Dyson Sphere 15 degree extra things. That's almost done now. So that's kind of nice. Right, is this long enough? No. It's not. It's going to need to be at least this long, I think. Probably this isn't enough either, but we'll see. Now at least we have it this far. And then we need some sorters. Are we going to need four per machine? 60 machines. Uh, four times 60 is uh, 120, 240. So we have enough. 
So we'll do one, two, three. And one, two. Actually, no. no. I will do one, two, three. And the same on the other side. And I'll sh tell you why I wanted to change this when we get to the point where you, where you can actually see why I wanted to change it. Uh, then we want an output and an output. And that's that. Then we can copy. Three. We're going to need to have a space in between here. Uh, hopefully this will fit. Yes it will. Beautiful. So, one, two, three. So that's six. 9, 12, plus 15% on the Dyson Sphere node, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, and 30. Now that was pretty good on the length. And then we can delete that. And here's why I wanted it to be like that. Because then it's kind of slanting in. Else it would be... This would be this long and the inner one would only be this long. And that doesn't look as nice in my opinion. So that's why I did it that way. And, uh, what the heck? Dang it. All right. Out you go. Always, always, always build on the inside first, or the one nearest the pole. Because if I had done that, then this would have, wouldn't have happened. I wouldn't have had to rip out everything. Because I would know that this needed to be like this. And power can go anywhere in here. Very good. Don't need you then. Six, nine, uh, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty one, twenty four. So, I shouldn't have ripped that felt out. So we need six more. Let's go to there. And ray transmission efficiency is upgraded as well. So that's 27, 30. Let's bring this out. And let's get you in as well. there. Almost there. And there we are. Uh, 
Okay. That's all the machines. Let's do some power. There. And we will have to have on both sides. That's fine. Basically, we're doing it. Uh, either I miscounted or I did something wrong with the power somewhere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So Let's fire this bad boy up. So, local demand, local demand, local demand. Let's see this thing run, shall we? In come the first items. All we're missing is the quantum chips now. There they come. And here comes the first rockets. Nice. A small carrier rockets coming in. Resources are getting all the way. Beautiful. This is awesome. <laughs> uh, this will be local storage because we're not going to be shooting from this planet. I think we're going to be shooting from uh, Mars 3. I think Mars 3 is going to be our shooting gallery planet. Both solar sails and um, rockets will be going out from Mars 3, I think. Or maybe we should do Mars 3 as just the rockets and then Mars 4 as the solar sails. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'll have a short think on that in between episodes and decide what we'll do. Now, we do have, because in between episodes I also uh, went back to uh, 
Um, I go to Buddhist and set up production of these guys. Vertical launching silos. So we actually have those. We actually have those. And they launch five a minute. So we're going to need to set up a lot of them if we're going to launch one a second. Or actually ten a second. Yeah, wow. Holy crap, we're gonna need a lot of them. That's insane. I'm actually going to change this to remote to supply because we don't need them here. So 10 small carrier rockets a second. And we have more than 1,700 now, 1,800. Oh, this is going to be awesome. I can't wait. But it's going to happen in the next episode, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.